St. Paul's Isles are situated in the northeastern part of Malta, and as recounted in chapter 27 of the Acts of the Apostles, it is the site of St. Paul's shipwreck. statue of St. Paul commemorates this key event in Maltese history. The parish church of Mosto was built between 1833 and 1860 and was designed by the architect and engineer Giorgio Grognier de Vas. The dome's internal diameter measures 39.6 meters as compared with the 42 meter diameter of St. Peter's Dome in the Vatican. The Mostar Dome is one of the great engineering feats of construction in Maltese stone. During World War II, it miraculously escaped destruction when a bomb that fell inside failed to explode. The Slima St. Julian's area was urbanized during the latter half of the 19th century to absorb the overspill of the population from Valletta. Modern Slima and the surrounding areas serve not only as a residential area, but also cater for tourist amenities, such as hotels, restaurants, swimming pools, beach concessions and places of entertainment. Parcheville is the capital of Maltese nightlife. Its concentration of cinemas, discos, nightclubs, hotels and restaurants come to life at sunset to last well through the night. The great attraction of Gozo is largely due to the island having retained an unhurried pace of life. Gozitans are known for their thrift, a characteristic which they carry with them even when they settle abroad. They are hospitable, though somewhat reserved. Above all, they are highly religious, with strong family allegiances, of which signal proof is provided by the erection of the sanctuary at Tapinu. Gozo is the least spoiled part of the Maltese Islands, retaining much of its old world character. The Gozo Citadel may owe its origin to the Punic Roman period, attaining its present proportions in medieval times. In 1551, the citadel was taken by an Ottoman armada some 5,000 people were dragged into slavery, most of whom were never to return. The citadel was rebuilt soon after, serving also as a night refuge for the inhabitants. Towards the end of the 17th century, it was gradually abandoned. The old citadel of Gozo, sited at the center of the island, underwent considerable modifications after its sacking in 1551. Considerable changes were effected after the earthquake of 1693, at a time when the citadel itself was being slowly abandoned by its own inhabitants. The present Cathedral of Gozo, formerly known as the Matrice, was erected after 1693, according to the design and under the direction of Lorenzo Gaffa. 
It is probably the finest and most aesthetically satisfying of his churches. The almost bare island of Camino is a unique locality. It is a little haven which still resists the 20th century. Splendid swimming facilities, masses of flowers in early spring, and an early 17th century watchtower keep that casts a romantic, protective look over what was once a refuge for hermits.